do not go on that swing because it's just a decoration, yet the kids always gravitate to that swing. Bring your own medical kit. <laughs> That's what we're doing this weekend, building the kids' play area. I'm Andrew. I'm Kevin. Welcome, Welcome to Bro Jacks. <laughs> Take advantage of the outdoors. Our playground is going to have a slack line, a hammock chair, a zip line, a baby bouncer, and a teeter totter. Something for every kid to enjoy. You see a lot of rock climbers playing on these things. They're called slack lines. The first playground build is called a slack line. A length of toe strapping is strung between two trees a short distance off the ground. This will give the kids a tightrope style obstacle and something to challenge their balance and agility. Okay. <laughs> I think you're supposed to put two feet on it. It kind of seems like the sort of thing that give it a few days and you'll get your balance. Once we do that, I think we'll be fine on this thing. The second build is a swinging hammock chair that uses simple climbing gear like ropes and pulleys to allow a person or child to pull themselves up a tree and enjoy the relaxing view. Let me show you how it's done. There you go. Take a beaner and a pulley and it's gonna be up on our rope. That way when you're sitting in the chair, you'll have a rope and you'll be able to pull yourself up. Fair getaway chair. So with a two to one pulley, I need to be able to lift at least half my weight in order to get myself up. The zip line uses a strong metal cable that attaches between two points above the ground. Once you're hooked in, you can fly across the yard just like your favorite superhero. So this is quarter inch aircraft cable. This is plenty strong, I think. A pulley, cable will run through there, and we have to build a, a handle of some sort. Once we actually get it up, and I get to see Kevin zipping, it's gonna be fun. Our next playground build uses a long rope slung from a tree, groups of rubber tubing, and a harness to make a giant belly bouncer that kids can use to jump to new heights. Get a rock and a sock. We'll see how it works. That is a hard throw. No. Oh, oh got it! Hopefully the tree doesn't come down on top of Kevin. Something's gonna break. <laughs> <laughs> Our last build can be used by kids and adults. We'll start by building a simple teeter-totter, but for this one we'll use some wagon wheels for movement, and I think we can hook our canoe on for easy transport. For the teeter-totter, we're going to liberate my mom's wagon wheels that are at the end of the uh, road, put our piece of wood across. All right, let's put the cotter pins in, paint this bar, and start working on the seat. I like this one. It's easy, you know, I don't feel like we're, we're overwhelmed with the bill. At the end of the day, if all the rest of our stuff doesn't work, this is still gonna be a fun teeter-totter for the kids. Let's put those seats on it. You know, I think the teeter-totter is gonna work a lot better with the seats. <laughs> We're not drilling for oil, hon. Do you want to add on it? too, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> bah. Bah. Do you want it down? Let me down. Hopefully. Yeah. Here it comes. I yeah. think it was great. Awesome. <laughs> Let's stop spot. admiring and go get in it. How is it? Awesome. Yeah? This is amazing, man. Huh? Really? Yeah. Awesome. This is amazing. What is that? No clinger shower curtain here. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Find the flows? Totally fine.